a phone call comes in, you see the number, or in my case, I have it set, the number or the name gets announced. And you get to decide, is this someone with whom I want to talk right now? Or am I just going to let this go to voicemail? And what's causing that determination of whether or not you want to talk with whoever's contacting you? Well, I'm guessing it's, you know, how you're going to feel when certain people call. If it's somebody you're not real fond of, you know, when you're with that person in person, their energy doesn't feel too good. Or you might not be aware of it's your energy that's leaving you feeling uncomfortable. But you just know if you see them coming down the street, you're going to cross over to the other side and hope they didn't see you. Know what I mean? So when you do want to answer the phone, in fact, if your face and your heart light up when you see who's calling, you know that's energy. When you're in that person's energy, you just feel really, really good. How can you bring that energy into your awareness so it isn't accidental, so you don't have to think about it, but you can just automatically know, I want to take this call. I don't want to take that call in case it's a number you don't know. Now, I have my phone set so that if somebody's calling in and it's a spam call, they're not in my contacts, they have a choice. They go directly to voicemail or they're just canceled out immediately. That's what happens if people are trying to reach me on my business phone. You have a choice about who you want coming through on your line, which is really, really nice. Because I remember when I was very little, the phone was something you had to sit down. It was a wire. It was plugged in to the phone connection to the phone lines. And you never knew who was calling. Then what happened was there were answering machines so you could screen your calls because somebody would choose to talk and tell you who it was. You could choose whether or not to answer or not. And then what came along was what we have now where you can actually see who's calling. So what is this that I'm talking about in the energy? You know what kind of energy lets you feel good. What do you notice about how people respond when you enter a room? Think about it for a moment. Do people notice that you're coming in? Do people kind of shy away, move away? Or do people just turn off? They know that they're feeling good and they're looking to see why they're feeling good. They're looking to see who just came in. And then they get a smile that doesn't just light up their face. It lights up their whole being. And if you can see their aura, you can see a difference in it expanding. You get to control the kind of energy that you're putting out. Now, here's the thing that you may not be aware of. Sometimes you're feeling okay maybe not in a spectacular mood, but definitely not in a bad mood. And all of a sudden, you feel not so terrific. I remember when I first started working with people as a specialized kinesiologist, this was about three decades ago, so it's been a while now, I would be with somebody. And things always start in your energy field. They don't start in your physical body. So if you can get rid of issues, problems, challenges, physical or emotional that are in your energy field, they never have to come into your body. So I was with somebody and suddenly I was feeling chills and something in my mouth didn't feel right. 
And this was kind of new to me at the time. And I knew it was coming from the person I was with. And a day or two later, I found out that person had a major infection in her mouth, in her tooth. So I learned to know, oh, if I feel a certain way, I'll stop and I'll say, is this my energy? Or is this energy coming from someone I'm with? And you know what? There's no such thing as time or distance. They don't have to be right there with you for their energy to be impacting you and how you feel and your mood. I had uh, an acquaintance some years ago, and we were out getting some smoothies together someplace, having a lovely conversation, and all of a sudden, she didn't feel well. Major headache. She was a very empathic person. Somebody had just entered into the smoothie place who had a severe headache. She was taking on his headache. Sometimes you can take on the physical stuff that happened with my friend, and with my friend who was with me and I took her stuff on, sometimes you're just taking on the emotional stuff. So if somebody's going through some kind of great sadness or a depression, or if somebody's really angry, their energy's going to impact you. You can do something to protect yourself. What I do when I know I'm going out, if I'm going someplace where it's going to be friendly people, people I like, I'll ask that the universe, actually I'm talking to my spirit, puts a semi-permeable boundary on my energy, allowing in only energy and information that's healthy, that's safe, that's beneficial for me. And that way I feel safe and protected and that's the result I get. On the other hand, if I'm going into an unknown situation, if I'm going into the grocery store or to a concert or a show, I don't know who's going to be in that audience. There are going to be people in all kinds of physical and emotional states. I don't want anybody's energy coming in on me. So what I then do is I ask my spirit, to seal my energy boundary. And I then fill within that boundary with healing, protective, loving, white light. Then I can go and be anywhere and that energy is not coming in, not bombarding me. Pretty simple, don't you think? You can do it. If you think it's kind of weird, just do it. Because the way you discover what you can do isn't by thinking about it, isn't by wondering about it, it's by doing it. So what in your world is going on, just think a moment, that feels like maybe this isn't my stuff at all. Maybe it's the person I've been around and I've taken on their energy. You know, when you're, I, I love doing live classes. And when I do that, I'll have people, uh, I'll whisper to each of them what kind of mood or whether or not to have eye contact. And I'll just have them walking right by each other. And then testing them to find out how their energy has been impacted. So that if I had told somebody, have eye contact, have a smile, have just feeling good energy, and the other person to allow that energy in, I can test both of them after they've walked by each other, and both of them are testing strong and vibrant and in a happy energy place. On the other hand, if I'll tell somebody to look, look down or look away and just feel angry inside, but the other person doesn't know that that's what I told the first person, and they go by each other. Now, if I test them, the person who's feeling angry and crummy, they're going to test weak because your body isn't in its power when you're angry or sad. 
and the other person who they just walk by in passing, they're experiencing that same drop in their energy, in their mood. Unless you're protecting yourself, unless you're protecting your energy, you're going to be bombarded by every person that you walk by. When people go into a workplace, if they don't have, and most businesses don't have, someone who helps you clear anything that's bothering you, that's interfering with your energy and ability to be holy and fully there without being stuck in some kind of nasty place. And most places don't have somebody like that to get you through and eliminate it. Every person in your workplace, every person in the grocery store, every person wherever you are, their energy's bombarding you. Simple enough to protect your energy. Now, I know that there's something in your world that you'd like feeling a little bit better. Maybe you'd like to have more energy. Maybe you have some numbness in your fingers and your toes. Maybe you had some kind of wound and man, it's taking forever to heal. Maybe you did something in your last workout and it just hurts. Is that you? I got you covered. You just go on over to andstruggle.com and I'll talk with you and we'll see just what's bothering you and how easily we can put you in a better place. If you haven't done so already, check out your free trial over at audible.com. Audible isn't just a place to go for audiobooks. They have really cool podcasts that you can't get anyplace else. This show is over on Audible. And there's all kinds of magazines. There is, I love my membership because not only do I get the book that I pay for each month, but I get a whole list of books, courses even to choose from that come free, no additional cost. Man, I found some really, really fun things here. And if you're in Audible, you might go over and take a look at a book. It's called Napoleon's Hemorrhoids. And it's this book of little incidents that happen in time that change the course of history. There's some real, and I just got that as a free add-on one month. And I go back and I listen to it often because it's just plain fascinating. If you go down to the link in the show notes, you can start your free trial. Grab yourself an audiobook of your choice and go through and explore everywhere. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. I am Reverend Allie Bierman. And what I know about you is you're ready to figure out how come things keep happening in your world? How come things happen to you? How come you're not in complete control? Creating, manifesting what you desire? That's what I'm going to talk about next time. So be sure you come back next time. Remember to join our Facebook group. Ask a question. Get the extras I put in there. Make a new friend. And you can find every one of our shows, both the audio and the video, on our show site. All these links are in the show notes. And I thank you so much for being here and sharing with me, with us, and letting us know. What do you want to know more of? You know, it takes funds to keep the lights on, to keep the podcast coming at you. I appreciate your coming over and supporting us on Patreon. And when you do that, you get to come join me on a live Zoom every single month. I love to know who you are and putting a face with a number 
would really be attracted. I'd really be very grateful to you. So please consider doing that. And leave us a review over on our webpage. It's so easy to do. Remember to enjoy every moment. That's I-N, capital J-O-Y. Your life happens within. You can't enjoy something that's outside of you because it's what's happening outside that's coming through and hitting your ability to see or hear or taste or smell or touch. But that doesn't happen outside of you. It happens inside. That's how your body, mind, spirit work. I look forward to seeing you here next time.